What's up guys, Max Maxworks here, and behind me is a 2009 Yamaha V-Star 1300. It's kind of the middle brother in the V-Star family, above the 650 and 1100, but below the 1800. And I picked this up for a song. Uh, by the time you guys watch this video, I love starting my new job, uh, my new professional job, and uh, uh, the new commute to my new job is considerably longer than my old one. So I wanted an easy, big bike that I could cruise up and down the highway. And this is not quite my style. Um, we're going to fix some stuff. The front forks are bent. The front axle is bent. We're going to replace that whole assembly. And we're going to take it from being kind of an old man cruiser style bike. And we're going to try to make it into something uh, young and fun and hip. But at the same time, I want to keep certain aspects of the comfort side without going you know, too far to the extreme. So I would like to make this into a good commuter bike. Now, as you can see, we can't even get the front wheel out because uh, these forks are bent in such a way right here that uh, the brake calipers won't let us go anywhere. So the first thing we gotta do is we got to unbolt brake calipers, get them here out of the way. I mean, that angle right there should more or less tell you everything you need to know about this front suspension. Um, it is all sorts of just jacked. Uh, the other thing I found interesting was they have one of these little bells here, a little devil bell, another little devil bell. I've never had one of those on any of my bikes um, because I'm not particularly superstitious, but I have taken apart a lot of wrecked bikes that have them, so your guess is as good as mine. One of the biggest downsides of these big cruiser bikes is you have to take off so much stuff and it's like you got to take it off in exactly the right order, otherwise you're going to get screwed. So you can see we have a whole bunch of little baggies of bolts, various plastic pieces that have come off, um, and so we just got to keep working on being able to remove all of this, I think what's going to happen next, because we can keep the top triple, because here's our new forks. So we can basically keep the top triple um, and swap out the bottom. So we got to undo these uh, these brake lines here. And then we got to start working on how to get underneath this gauge cluster. Well, there's the whole front end apart. Um, it's just under a whole lot of load, so we have to get it all loosey-goosey. Now you put the new forks in and just take a look at the old forks. I mean, that more or less shows you just how badly fucked up they were. Now, over here, we have our new forks. And I think we're going to reuse my bearings rather than using these bearings. So I'm going to clean these up a little bit. Um, and then we're going to just put everything back together. So there we go got our new forks all in and mounted um, pretty straightforward swap now it's time to go on the old gargler and see if we can't find ourselves some parts um, I'm gonna take a look see if I can find a headlight uh, it would be nice to find a headlight so that I wouldn't have to build one because I do like the look of the stock headlight uh, but if I can't find one I will build one um, and then we come down here and start taking some more junk off this bike. So now we were waiting for parts. I ordered handlebars. I ordered uh, a new front axle. I ordered um, a headlight and an LED for the headlight. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to try to take some of the old man out of this. Uh, and what I mean by that, it's got a nice big battery in there, actually. Nice big battery. Um, so what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to uh, get rid of these saddlebags. Um, I would have totally liked to replace the saddlebag, but it's almost $400 for one saddlebag. So the thing we're going to do is we're actually going to sell this one, which is in excellent condition, um, because uh, I'm not spending $400 on a saddlebag, and I'd rather have $400 than have this one saddlebag. So I've already bent uh, this shifter back. It's still not perfect. I'm going to work on it some more. Uh, a little bit, but at least it's not uh, up against the case. And we still need to do an oil change and some other basic maintenance. But first, I want to take some of this old guy stuff off of it. Um, I don't need these backrests. Uh, and I would like to be able to take a look at the actual condition of this rear fender and see what we can do about it. Well, I don't want to film myself just unbolting shit, but basically, got this saddlebag off. We relocated this mount back here. I got to get a new uh, passenger side foot bag. Um, over here we did the same thing as you can see. This is junk. This is junk. Uh, this is also junk. But this right here is our complete um, 
left side assembly. As you can see, this rear fender took quite a beating. Um, I'm going to see if I can get all of this off, off of here. And then we can kind of go through and figure out if we can hammer. Because i got to hammer at least some of this shit out. Because it's rubbing on the rear tire. And basically any bump you go over, you're going to get a pretty bad rub. So i gotta, I got to get this like back. And so it's free. i got some tools that will let me try it. If it doesn't work out, I can always just go online and buy another fender. Um, but if I can save myself like 100, 150 bucks, then that's what we're going to do. Um, and it, since the rest of the bike is already damaged, the gas tank is damaged, the front fender is damaged, I'm not really worried about uh, making it perfect or anything like that. We just want to make it so that it works. All right, so I'm sticking with the cheapo build plan. Got some little eBay LED turn signals for the rear that I literally just mounted into the fender. As you can see, the fender is still off center from the tire. That's all right, got a little LED right here so we can pass inspection. This is sheet metal screwed onto the fender. Got the back seat back on, got the main seat back on. Um, this side's all good to go. Uh, let's see, come over here. I took off, there was a broken piece of plastic right here. So I just removed that, a little chrome plastic thing. Uh, we can't really do anything up here until the rest of the parts come in. Um, but I do have, uh, ooh, I don't want to do that yet. Mm. So yeah, at some point I need to do an oil change, but, well, the oil drain's right there. I don't want to, don't want to make a mess. I don't know where the filter is on this thing. Oh, filter's in the front, so we're going to have to wait until, um, the front end comes in before we can change the oil. So I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I can do today. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, this rear fender is a mess, but it's not interfering with anything. All the lights work, it'll pass inspection. And that's really what we wanted. We wanted just something I could ride around on, cruise around on, that's cheap as fuck and don't have to worry about. And that's where we're going. So there we go. We got our brakes on, got a front wheel on, new axle in, wheel spins nice and straight. No rubbing anywhere. Had to reform the front fender just a little bit so it wouldn't rub. But uh, I got three out of four bolts in there. This one was ripped out entirely, so there was no fixing that. Um, so just like that, we're uh, we're moving right along here. Um, I'm going to be able to put some of this stuff up here back together. Um, but unfortunately, the headlight and passenger peg and a few other parts I need still aren't here. Uh, the other thing I want to do is maybe put a little bit of uh, just spare oil that I have in it. Uh, old oil and see if the uh, check engine light comes off um, but just like that man we're uh, we're rocking and rolling on this thing so parts came in just today's post was just running a little late but uh, there we go we got our second passenger peg so that's done um, I also got a new set of grips or a used set of grips uh, from this actual exact bike um, but we're not going to bother putting this one on because we're replacing the handlebars. Handlebars have not come in yet. Um, so we're just going to put this aside for now because uh, we don't really need it yet. But there we go. I mean, she's back on the ground and you kind of can already see what it's starting to look like. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the oil. Um, I put a little more oil in it, warmed it up just a little bit. Um, but as you can see, the oil is still very low. But basically underneath here, you can see that right there is the drain plug. I have no idea what that is, but you don't want to unscrew it because that's your oil drain plug. Back over here is your oil filter. Um, having one of these type of jacks makes doing stuff like this really, really easy. Because I'm going to give this another couple of cranks and the oil pan is going to slide right under there. The oil filter is an oil filter. The oil drain plug is a 17 millimeter. Unscrew it, drain the oil out. We'll pop the uh, top right here. So the oil can drain out freely. And then we fill it up with oil until it gets to about the three quarter mark. Uh, and then we're good. So here's our headlight. Um, I actually did this yesterday, I forgot to film it. Basically just a little steel mount that's been bent and welded. And we have our super bright LED light and we can take that off of there. So it doesn't look a sketch. Um, I ended up putting the stock handlebar back on. The handlebar I ordered is A, too short, and B, damaged in shipping. Um, for any of you out there who ship handlebars, 
Don't throw it in like a quick shipping bag with no padding. That's not a great way of having a handlebar delivered because it's going to be damaged. Um, so that was a NYX. This handlebar is not straight. Um, and I may, I attempted to straighten it. I couldn't straighten it. Uh, I may attempt to straighten it a little later on, or I may try to source another non-damaged stock handlebar, but I can ride it the way it is. And I decided really just want to be able to ride my motorcycle. Um, the other thing we're going to do is I'm going to jack this up a little bit higher and we're going to do an exhaust mod. It's very common on these uh, V-Stars and all the V-Stars. Basically, as you can see, it's got the stock muffler in there. And so what you do is you go in and drill out the surrounding metal area. And once you do that, drill out the surrounding metal area, you can actually... Um, uh, remove that whole muffler tube and you get a little bit more noise out of it and it sounds pretty decent and it's free so we're gonna do that so the nice thing about the exhaust mod is you can do it basically progressively so what we did was we added some holes in the bottom because I didn't want it to be super loud but that basically is a pass through for the muffler system so I'm gonna set you guys up back here and we're gonna fire it up for you Well, there we go. She's all cleaned up, uh, or as cleaned up as she's going to be. Put on my new handlebars that came in, basically just factory takeoffs. Uh, <clears throat> now the riding position is all correct. So, all in all, I think it's a very handsome looking bike. Um, obviously, it's like banged up to shit. But, she runs and drives great, and now we can clean it up and throw it up for sale. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. As always, I'm Max. This is MaxWorks. Peace.